Hello and welcome to an FPGA vision video. In this lecture series we have a look at uh, machine learning with FPGAs and uh, as an application we use pattern recognition. Depending on the application you need different computing power. Sometimes uh, you need only moderate computing power, for example, if you don't have real-time requirements. Let's have a look at the scene you see here. Uh, you have a car in a driveway to a parking spot. And if you want to check the license plate, you can identify a region of interest. And then you do pattern matching for this region of interest. And you can take a single frame, so you have certain time for your processing, this is not time critical, and um, this can be done on a CPU. But sometimes uh, you have higher computing demands. So maybe you don't have a region of interest, uh, but you want to search the complete frame. And um, you also want to monitor every frame and not just a single frame. An example could be wildlife observation, maybe in a nature reserve. And uh, in this scene, you want to identify the birds. How many birds are there? In which direction are they flying? And um, maybe what type or species of birds uh, do we have here to learn something um, about their behavior? And then you need more computing power because yeah, you search the whole frame and you search every frame. And for such an application, an FPGA is a good solution. In this lecture, we don't take a real-life example because uh, um, it is much easier to understand if we take a scene with reduced complexity. So our application is uh, to identify four different symbols in a grayscale image. And um, these four symbols are a circle, a solid circle or a dot, a plus and an X. And uh, we want to have these symbols with a size of 7 by 7 pixel. These uh, symbols can move, so we have a scene like you see it here. The video is in 720p format with uh, 60 Hz. So we have 1280 by 720 pixel and um, 60 times a second a new frame. This gives around uh, 55 million pixels per second. And with some blanking between the lines and the frames, we have a clocking frequency of 74.25 megahertz. So this is uh, quite a number of samples to investigate and we will use an FPGA for that. In the next videos of this uh, lecture, we will first have a look at uh, training of the machine learning algorithm. Then we look at the structure of the FPGA and VHDL implementation. There will be a look at synthesis of the FPGA and um, implementation results. And I will also give you some exercises so that you can do your own experiments. The video of the pattern for the pattern recognition is available on our webpage and uh, all the source files are available on GitHub. So, I hope to see you in the next video.